All right, let's do this one more time. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the most important rule in team racing, which is rule 17. I know you might be thinking, oh, uh, rule's lame, but uh, you need to know this team race correctly, especially on the reach or downwind. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm going to read it to you guys, put it on the screen, and then we're going to kind of break it down. Okay? So, rule 17, on the same tack, proper course. If a boat clear astern becomes overlapped within two of her hull lengths to leeward of a boat on the same tack, she shall not sail above her proper course while they remain on the same tack and overlap within that distance, unless in doing so, she promptly sails astern of the other boat. This rule does not apply if the overlap begins while the windward boat is required by rule 13 to keep clear. Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay, so number one, the proper course is the course you would sail if there were no other boats on the course, the fastest course, right? If you're just going around doing laps, time trialing, right? Um, that's your proper course. And usually, if you're reaching or going down, that means straight to the next mark, putting your bow right on that mark, okay? Uh, next is loving rights, which is basically uh, the ability to sail above your proper course when you're to lure it, or to head another boat up, right? That's loving rights. When we head another boat up, that's called luffing them. So, luffing rights. Um, so now we're gonna talk about what are some examples of proper course, so well, let's take a look. So on a reach, it is to point directly at the next mark. If you go any higher, and you're, you know, you're restricted to your proper course, so if rule 17 applies, then if you go any higher, that's a foul, okay? If you go any lower, that's fine. You can go as deep as you want, but you just can't sail above this magic line, okay? So you line the mark right up with your bow, and you sail that course. Uh, number two, downwind, you know, you wing if you have to, but basically line your bow directly up on that mark, and then that's your proper course. And then finally, upwind, uh, your proper course is close halt. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, you can't sail directly at the next mark on the upwind. So either tack, but as long as you're close hauled, you cannot sail, you know, go ahead to win, right? So let's talk about overlap. We determine overlap by basically drawing a line uh, through the transom and extending that to both lanes, okay, just like the rule said. Uh, and if they are behind this line, then they are not overlapped, not overlapped, right? If they get in front of this line, even just, you know, a smidge of their bow, you are overlapped, okay? Um, um, so rule 17 turns on when this happens, and it only applies to the lured boat. Okay, it only applies to the lure boat, doesn't affect the lure boat at all. Okay, it happens when a boat gets overlap from behind. Okay, uh, rule 17 only applies uh, when the boat comes from behind and goes to lure. Okay, if they come from behind and go to windward, that's a completely different story, right? So it, it applies to a lure boat who comes from behind. Okay, got that? Cool. So, how do we turn, turn rule 17 off? You know, I want to get my luffing rights back. If I'm trying to slow someone down and help my teammate, I need to be able to head them up. So, how do we do that? Okay, so let's take a look. So, first of all, uh, you can do it by jive. So, if you come from behind, right, and you're on opposite jive, so you're sailing, basically, your booms are pointing toward each other, you're sailing away from each other, uh, you come from behind, hit the overlap, and then you jive into it, well, you are not restricted, you have luffing rights, so you can sail them up as high as you want. Let's say you come from behind on the same jive, okay, so you're both on start. If you were just to throw your boom back and forth, double jive, uh, then you regain your luffing rights. And this is a move you'll see happen a lot in really high level team racing, okay? So jive into the overlap means you're good, you're not restricted, you have luffing rights. The other way is you can sail in from more than two boat lengths away. So here you see two boats, they're not overlapped, and this is, I've drawn kind of like roughly two boat lengths here. Uh, this boat will reach in while this boat is winging. So red, uh, yeah, the red boat will reach in while the white boat is winging. And they are unrestricted. They have um, luffing rights, basically. They can luff this boat up, okay? So, uh, you know, how do we turn it back on? So say someone's luffing us and we want to be able to defend ourselves. Well, we do that basically by out-turning the other boat. So if we can turn faster than the other boat turns, we can break the overlap. What do I mean? So, uh, boat came from behind, uh, and, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no restriction here. Uh, the boat came, went to windward, so rule 17 does not apply. 
So the boat comes, comes close to windward, then the white boat, lure boat, is going to luff the red boat. See, luffs the red boat. Then, as you see, when the boat turns, draw an extension out of our boat uh, to make, you know, show our overlap. As the boat turns, the overlap line moves. So if, if a boat is here, I can turn, and now the overlap is broken. And so you'll hear a lot of people yelling in team racing, broken, uh, when they feel the overlap, they break the overlap, right? And you break the overlap by turning faster than the boat that's trying to love you, okay? So you turn faster, your stern swings, and they're now no longer overlapped. Now when this boat sails back into an overlap, they've come from behind, and they don't have luffing rights anymore, they are restricted, and they must turn right back down and sail their proper course, and they can't luff you again until they turn Rule 17 off again. Okay, pretty pretty next level stuff. And I'll try and make a video where I kind of uh, commentate on a team race where this is happening. Okay. So finally, the exception, one of the exceptions in the rule is you can sail above your proper course when it makes you sail behind the other boat. So, here we have two boats, red and white, that are not overlapped. Red sails into the overlap from behind, they are restricted. Then red decides, okay, actually I want to go to the other side of them. I'm going to head up, you know, very aggressively. They keep clear and they've sailed above their proper course, but because it is to take their stern, that's totally okay. Taking their stern is different from luffing them, right? If we were here and we started to head, head the other boat up, make them avoid us, that's a foul, okay? So, summary. Just your, your checklist, right? Am I restricted? Well, we gotta hit all of these, right? If every single one of these is hit, then we are restricted, okay? So, from behind, same tack, two lengths or less, lured, overlapped, okay? This is not an order of importance. But if you can just hit all those five things, then you are restricted, you don't have luffing rights. If any one of these is not true, then uh, you have luffing rights and you can luff the other boat. So hopefully I can show you guys an example because I know this is complicated um, and make it a little bit more clear for you with some real boats. So I'll try and do that soon, okay? So thanks for watching, next video.